my channel. Today, I am going to share with you guys my favorite skincare finds of the year of 2020. Now, I know that we've been doing these series where I've shared all of my favorite makeup that I discovered in the year of 2020. Also uploaded a video of my not so favorites from 2020, but this video is going to be all about skincare. I've been on a skincare journey for several years. I am now 41. I will be 42 this year in May. I did not start with skincare uh, until I was about 33, 34 when I had really bad hyperpigmentation, like really bad. And so I have just been on a journey, a skincare journey. I do have a playlist dedicated to skincare. I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm really good at keeping my playlist organized. All you have to do is just go to my playlist and you will see all different types of playlists. But in my playlist, I do have one that's dedicated to skincare. And that kind of goes through some of my skincare journey and what products really worked for me and then what products I use to kind of maintain to get rid of all the hyperpigmentation and the adult acne. So these products I'm gonna talk about today are just basically products that I discovered in the year of 2020 and fell madly in love with, and now they are part of my regular routine. Now, a portion of this video is sponsored by Science Serum, so thank you so much, Science Serum, for helping to support my channel. I have some great products to share with you guys from them, and I would never have agreed to even talk about their products if I didn't use them and love them, because these are products that I have been consistently using for the year of 2020. So recently, they sent this over, this is the new Pro Series Tight All-in-One Facial Treatment. I've used two of them. There's actually four in here. And you use this little brush and it comes in this little container. It's kind of a jelly type formula. And I use the brush and I put it all over the face and you let it tighten up. Using the silicone applicator brush, apply the gel evenly to the face and use sparingly underneath the eyes to avoid inner eyes. Expect intense tightening, which is what I, which is what I got. You wanna relax and minimize your facial movements to maximize the effect. You leave it on for 20 minutes or until the treatment completely dries. And it does wash off pretty easily. I just kept kind of taking a rag and kind of going over it with water and it did remove easily, but you can feel that tightening sensation. That's kind of what their line is. I have several of their products here. This one is my favorite. This is the Bright and Tight. And this one I use right here in this area to really tighten this up. That is probably my biggest issue. Like I get Botox right along here and I do get it on my crow's feet, but it's this crinkling skin right here that I'm trying to get under control, which I have a few other products I'm gonna share that has really helped with that. But I use this twice a week and I absolutely love it because I do feel like it goes in there and tightens things up. It is a product that you wanna use on a regular basis and I do think it's helped with my dark circles. So it is supposed to help with dark circles, age spots, reduces wrinkles, firms, tightens, and brightens skin. It's all supposed to hydrate and moisturize, and you can actually see the result in five minutes, and that is true. So they have sent me over a couple of products, but I would say the Bright and Tight is my favorite. They have this one for the neck where you can apply the product right along here and all the way down to kind of tighten the neck up. And then also they have one that's for the lips, like the mouth area. But if you guys haven't heard of Science Serum, they're fantastic. I've really been enjoying their products. I will leave a link to their website in the description box down below and also the code, but these are great. And I'm so excited and happy that I discovered them in the year of 2020 and they're, it's just something I need to use. Like once I started using them, I can't go back. Just great. Okay, let's talk about this. This is from Peter Thomas Roth. Now this is not a new product, I don't think, uh, but I discovered it in the year of 2020. I don't care what your skin type, this is the best product to get rid of dead skin off of your skin. This is called the Firm X Peeling Gel. It visibly exfoliates by rolling, lifting, and sweeping away when it's, when it's massaged into the skin. I am not kidding you. It only takes a tiny little bit. I've had this bottle, all, this bottle has lasted me all year. I've bought it one time. I have not needed to repurchase this. I use this once a week. You guys have probably heard me talk about this before. You only need a little bit of this. So I probably use about this much uh, all over this area and a little bit more for my forehead. What that product does is it gets rid of the dead skin cells. So you wanna apply this on your skin that is clean and dry. 
no water because if you have water on your skin or any moisture on your skin it won't pick up the dead skin cells so anytime i need to really exfoliate i will put some of this on rub it in and you will feel it balling up which is it's lifting all of the dead skin cells off of the skin so if you're like me and i've even used it on my eyelids right up here like sometimes they'll get kind of you know i'll get some extra skin here and i need to exfoliate this is very gentle i don't feel like it hurts my skin in any way i think this is way better than scrubbing your skin you only need to use it about once a week but it lifts dead skin off of your skin like nothing i've ever seen it's fantastic fantastic it makes my skin look more smooth and my my makeup application is way better especially if you're somebody like me like sometimes I will get like skin that will build up right in between my nose because I have like really sharp curves around my nostrils and I will have dead skin that will kind of build up in that area. This stuff lifts the dead skin off of the face like a dream. It is a must have. I'm telling you, especially if you have dry skin, this stuff is fantastic. Let's talk about these eye patches for a minute. I have been obsessed with eye patches. I would say for the last four months, I've been wearing eye patches every day. So my favorite, because they're the most affordable, is the Good Molecules Caffeine Energizing Hydrogel Patches. You've heard me talk about these a thousand times. These are my favorite. I have been trying the ones from Peter Thomas Roth. Uh, during the holidays, they had a set of three the different ones. Like one was a gold one. There was one that was like a hydrating one. And this one's like a cucumber detox. So you got, there was like a three pack for like 80 some dollars. So I went ahead and picked up the three pack. I really enjoy these. These are great. But these work, I think, probably just as good, but they're much more affordable. I picked these up on the Beautylish website. And the thing that I love about these type of eye patches, even the Peter Thomas Roth, you know the ones that have like the silver or the gold or the rose gold, like Wonder Beauty has the rose gold little like uh, patches. These are silicone. So these last a lot longer. So I will put these on like once I get done washing my face and putting on my skincare, I will go ahead and put on an eye serum, which is this. I've been loving this. This is the Dermalogica eye serum. I love this stuff. So I will put a little bit of this right under here and kind of blend it in. And then I will go ahead and put on the silicone eye patch. These are jelly like, and they last a lot longer. So they take a lot longer to kind of dry up. I can wear these patches for probably 20, 30, even 40 minutes before they're completely dried. Other ones that kind of have that film to them, those only last for 5, 10, 15 minutes and you're done. So I like these because they last a lot longer and they really just give the under eyes such moisture. I've noticed a huge difference between using the eye patches every day and also using the uh, bright and tight underneath the eye. I'm noticing a big difference in this area right here. And what I do is when I apply these, I will go ahead and put them on and then I'll do my hair, I'll get dressed. And then when I'm ready to put my makeup on, I will go ahead and take it off. So I'm leaving it on as long as I possibly can. Fantastic, I cannot recommend these silicone eye gel type patches enough. They're fantastic. The next product I wanna talk about is this rice wash from Tatcha. So before I started using this, I was using the deep cleanse. So in the morning time, I will use the cleansing oil from Tatcha just because it's a very gentle cleanser and it's able to kind of clean up my skin, kind of, you know, take away the skincare from the night before, uh, get rid of any of the oils that I have on my skin and kind of give me that fresh start. But it's a very gentle, gentle cleanser. But the rice wash I will use at night, which I was using the deep cleanse. To me, the rice wash works just as good as, as the deep cleanse, but this is much cheaper than the deep cleanse. So I really love the way that this cleans my skin and I, I don't have anything left over, no makeup left over. Like it is a great, great wash. It's very gentle on my skin and this has become my holy grail for my night wash. I love it so much. The other product that helps me keep my skin clean is this. So this is my favorite, okay. <laughs> I was not expecting to like this. So Patrick Starr, uh, he's a fellow YouTuber, a big time YouTuber. He launched a brand called One Size. 
And the first two products they launched was this, which is Go Off, and then he launched a pack of makeup wipes. Now, I bought the makeup wipes, but they were too dry for me. I do not like them. They're nice and big, but they're dry. I don't, I, they feel scratchy when I'm using them, and I just, I'm not a fan of the makeup wipes, but this stuff is fantastic. This is my second bottle. One bottle of this lasted me a couple of months. So what you do is you just spray your face, like with your makeup on, when you're getting ready to remove your makeup, you spray your face and then let it set there for just a minute. And then you go in with a makeup towel or a makeup wipe or whatever you use to wipe off your makeup. And this removes your makeup so quickly. Now I was using the Clinique Take, your, take the Day Off, the balm. I used that balm for years to take my makeup off. This is like mess free. I can spray it. Now here's the thing. The, the Clinique Take the Day Off is fantastic. Am I right? It's a great product, but I hated sticking my fingernails down in there. Like I'd have to put my nails in this way so it wouldn't get inside my nails. It was just kind of a hassle and I didn't like the feeling of it. This, I don't even have to touch it. I just spray it and then I take the makeup wipe and wipe it off. So I'm not having to put on the take the day off and kind of work it in and kind of, you know, work it in to remove all my eye makeup and all that. This just erases it for me and it's fantastic. I love this stuff. This, stuff's, this stuff's great. The next product is this from Monday Born. So this is called the Rebirth Exfoliating Serum and Lactic Acid. I love this stuff. It's one of my favorite lactic acids. This is from one of my favorite YouTubers. She doesn't upload as much uh, makeup tutorials and stuff as she used to. Her name is Tenny Panosian. She's one of my favorites. Lo I've always loved the way that she applies makeup. And she launched her own skincare line. And she, I think she's only launched two products so far. This is amazing. And I think this is my second or third bottle of it. It has, you know, the AHAs. It has the lactic acid. It has a lot of great stuff in here. And I use it about two or three times a week. Definitely a fantastic formula. And she's all about using recycled materials for the packaging. Just all in all, a great, great brand. So I had to mention this because I have been loving this. Okay, so now that I have my uh, adult acne under control, I needed to find something to help get rid of and, or at least get it to go down some of the texture that I have right along here. And even though I'm not actively breaking out like I used to, I not only have some scarring there, but I also have some texture that I just can't get rid of. I've tried so many different products and these two were sent to me from Paracone and I freaking love these. So this is the day treatment and the night treatment. This is for acne relief. This is a salicylic acid. This is a calming treatment and, hi and hydrator. So you put this on in the morning and I don't put it all over my face. I only put it right here. So these two last me a really long time. And then this one is a retinol treatment with a moisturizer. So you're using two different types of salicylic acid to tackle that area. It is fantastic. My texture has gone down so much since I started using these. The crazy thing about this, I don't know if you remember when I first talked about these, I think it was in a monthly favorites, but I started noticing a difference on these two products within days. It works so quickly to calm down that texture. If you're having any issues with acne or texture, I recommend giving this a try from Paracone, both of these. These both work so great in conjunction with each other and I, I love these. These are a great find for me for the year of 2020. Okay, so next up we have this from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Magic Cream. I never understood the hype behind it. I felt like it was really overpriced for what it is. But I, this year, in the year of 2020, I have fallen in love with it. I just ordered the limited edition color. I'm actually going to open it for you on camera so you guys can see what it looks like. I'm so excited to see it. I haven't seen it yet. Ooh, it's pretty. Look how beautiful this is. So this is now available on her website. It's with that beautiful red. It's for like the lucky year, I think. The main reason why I have fallen in love with the Magic Cream is that it has replaced my Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. Yes, it's more expensive than the Bobbi Brown. I do still think that the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base is a fantastic base. I think it moisturizes the skin and 
it, it the foundation blends beautifully over it but i've loved the magic cream there's just i would not now here's the thing i love using this when i apply my foundation i don't use this when i'm not applying foundation it's not like it's a part of my skincare routine but it has become my holy grail when it comes to prepping my skin to put foundation over top the way that the foundation blends into it, I'm just, I'm obsessed with it. I had a lot of people tell me that they loved using the Magic Cream as a makeup base, and I can see why. It has just become one of my favorite products. It is a skincare product, but I definitely love the way that my foundation blends into it. It's just, it, it blends so beautifully. The next product I wanted to talk about is this. I'm almost out of it. You can almost see there's just a tiny bit left at the bottom of it. Um, but this is the Tatcha Silk Peony Eye Cream. Now, yes, I love this one from Dermalogica, but this one is a little bit of a thicker type of formula. I have really enjoyed this. It melts into the under eye, keeps my under eyes from drying out. I would say both of these are really, really good. I use this one in the morning and sometimes I will use this one at night. For me, I just love the Tatcha line. I just, I have a lot of great products that I love from Tatcha, uh, but that eye cream is a great one. And then finally we have this. This is my holy grail. I love this so much. So this is from By Terry. This is the T to Tan Face and Body uh, Hydro Bronze shaker spray all over water mist. I'm actually wearing it right now. Right now I'm wearing like a white tank top. I'm rubbing my arm along here and it's not rubbing off on my clothes. Once this dries, it does not rub off on your clothes. So I don't use this all over the body unless it's the summer and I'm showing off my legs, but right now it's in the winter time and I am self tanning, but I'm not self tanning as dark as I would during the summer. And sometimes I wanna be a little bit darker without adding some self tanner. So I use this and I love this. Of course, this is definitely more of like a spring summer product, but I could not do this video without talking about this. It is my favorite. This is my second bottle I've went through. I love it so much and I have two on backup. So it has a nice little squirt bottle. So as I just pull my hair up and then obviously I'm kind of like naked from the waist up and I just spray it all over my body and then I just rub it in. It's so easy to rub into the body. See, this is what it looks like when you spray it, but when you rub it in, it's a very soft type of formula, but it does bronze your skin up. It does give the skin a nice little bronze. I'm obsessed with it. I actually do like the scent of it too. It smells kind of rosy. I would say it has a rosy scent to it, but what I love about that product the most is that it doesn't transfer on my clothes. Now, if you get dressed immediately, it will transfer. But I let it dry for probably about, I don't know, two minutes or so, and it's good. Like, it does not transfer. And it's really hard to find those type of products that don't transfer on your skin. So I had to mention it. It's fantastic. Okay. I, right now, I'm testing some very expensive skincare items from uh, Augustine Bader, and whew, they are very pricey. I've been testing it for about a month and a half now, maybe. I think it was around the beginning of December. So I'm probably about a month and a half, almost two months in. But I felt like with those expensive products, I really need to use them for a while in order to kind of share my thoughts on those. So I will definitely let you guys know. Uh, I, these are the two products right up here on the screen. So as soon as I kind of uh, get through them and figure out what I think about them, I will definitely let you know. But for now, these are my favorite uh, skincare products that I discovered in the year of 2020. So that's it, you guys. Sound off down below. Let us know what your favorite skincare discovery for the year of 2020 was. I know that you guys always have such great suggestions. So definitely share with us in the comment section down below. And thank you to Science Serum for partially sponsoring the video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me in today's video. I hope that you guys all have a wonderful day and I will see you all in my next video. Love you. Bye.